Hey guys, Bekasan here, and um, not a random reaction because this uh, has interest me. And okay, I this first caught my eye on my recommended, and then it was brought up on my Discord, and yeah, I gotta say it very much. This reminds me of the old cartoons. Now, this is, a, this is a fan animation project, of course. And when I just saw the title, The Brave Locomotive, and the thumbnail, I instantly thought of the old uh, Porky Pig cartoon, Porky's Railroad, released back in 1937. Almost 100 years. But this here with the thumbnail and reading the description here, yeah, it, it's like, it's a Disney version of that here, cause especially with the fact that it's a musical tale. So, and yeah, this, the description here about uh, fearless, fearless Little Train and his engineer confront obsolescence, it's like, yeah, it's the Porky Pig cartoon, but made by Disney. In fact, it's amazing that Disney, the man, didn't, like, push to make a cartoon like this. Especially with the fact that he was a big fan of trains and locomotives and stuff like that. <laughs> God, if, if, if he was still alive here, he, he would have helped fund a whole, like, uh, lots and lots of trains videos. You guys remember that here from the 90s? When, yeah, pushing all this the engineering stuff here. Like, feel the heat, smell the st smell the smoke as these titans of the track thunder on by. You'll love lots and lots of trains. My God, you get commercials on TV here and even in VHS tapes. But kids, and, and kids movies and stuff like that, they were, ever, like, they really promoted that stuff. And yet, Disney would have, like, bought them all if not funded that. Oh, so yeah, I mean, I... Let's take a look. The whole premise is basically simple. Like a train and conductor, old, and they're being pushed aside for the newer stuff. Even the, the title screen right there is like old school, 30s and 40s, featuring the dollies. The Railroad Baron. The only one that's gonna have been more of... Oh, wow. Oh, God. look at that. Oh, I love that. Oh, okay, I got him. Just, wow. The only way this could have been better, if they if they'd gone, if they had gone the extra mile, and indeed make it like a old school 4v3 square, instead of going with this widescreen. I wonder if they... Like, people who do these... uh these these animations that are like homages to the old days of like the the, the golden age of the Alva animation and, and theater and stuff like that. Yeah, go the extra mile, make it a square. It's like why not? But the music, I'm liking it so far. The animation, just the fact that all the the, the cars and behind the locomotive are also like they got their eyes here. They're technically alive and everything. Oh yeah, this. Screams, old school, Disney and Warner Brothers and all those other guys. Oh yeah, this is the kind of thing Disney would love. This, uh, wow! Ah! <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Keep going, keep on doing it, man. Come on, damn! That's like, that's like. Polar Express grade right there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah. I was God day. The passengers. Married? It's a oh, nice one. 
Ah! Station! Uh oh. Oh! My boy, and I will tell you about my new venture. The smaller trains must now give way to something of stature. Behold, I give you now the future. Yeah, well, we have left. Presenting Samson. Samson. Contract point reassignment. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, the poor big thing. Oh. Like, point of no return, a vulture and everything. Oh, God, they really. That's good. Ah, oh, so now he's working in the coal, in the coal mines. Oh, wow. This is slave, this is slave work. Ah. Ah, look. Ah, you got a wife and everything like that, so. Whoo! <laughs> Brutal. Brutal and yeah, it's, I, the back to where you tip where the rails began in the coal mine because that's the whole thing. Like the rail railways were used in to help push push carts in the in the mine and stuff like that. And before and back where you started, but damn, it's like it's like a slave like a slave uh, operation going on there. Ooh, harsh. But that is how it was here. It's like um, the the newer stuff came in, the old got pushed back here. These new trains, bigger, faster, stronger. They can push more and probably get to their destin and get to their destination a lot faster. Shrink thereby uh, shrinking uh, the, co the 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 country. But at the same time. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. We see what it's like there, yeah? Yeah, oh wow, well, yes. It becomes more automated. You can transport more people to areas, to areas allowing uh, people to start. And of course, uh, there's a lot more factors in there. But yeah, more people can be transported to one area. And towns became towns. Villages turn into towns. Towns become the cities, etc., etc. But we also see what that does in nature here. Like the same scene at the first start. And now it's all smog written. And such here, animals are more scared, and you you can't just stop for a turtle for for Animal Crossing, and yeah, it's like and they no longer going uh up steep uh, hill, just go right through the mountains, make get tra make tr cut travel time in half as well as waste less coal. You have to do much, which. The bonus here, like yeah, it's just the coal is directly fed here. No, no need to have someone shuff shuffling it in. <sighs> Titan trains tame terrain. I love that. Baron's daughter, the railroad princess, named heir to von Capital Empire. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, so that was his daughter, huh? That was the daughter who was on the back. We saw when uh. The conductor was signing away, was signing the contract. That was his wife. That was his wife or something. You never know, but no. And I love, I love the uh, Thursday. I love the, 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 I love the day here. Colin Neville Times, Thursday, February fourteenth, 
1895. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm tempted to look up the date to see exactly what happened by that by that point. But yes, that was indeed the rise of the railroads. The rise, the railroads were like that here. It was the Gilded Age still. We had people like, um, oh boy, come on. Yes, I, I know his name. I see the freaking History Channel documentary about the men who built America several times here. Oh, oh the, Com the Commodore, basically, that, that guy. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. Thank God, I can't believe I, that name took a while to look that name up. But yeah, Vanderbilt. Like the biblical namesake, Samson uh, knows no hunger nor weakness, a marvel to behold. Uh, yeah, I, uh, the hunger is bullshit because it's a train, it's a machine, it needs fuel, i.e. it needs to be fed, and the coal is. So, um, I hate that guy. The animal, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, oh yeah, good job. Beat it. No! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, can I watch? Okay. And, ooh, yeah. As trains got faster, so did uh, derailment incidents, if I remember right here, because, you know, you know, they didn't solve the problem yet. And as we saw there, that, that bridge... That bridge was clearly designed for small, slow trains like, like, uh, Cappy, I'm gonna call him. I'm sure he has his own name, but I'm gonna call him Cappy because of that. But these fast trains, it's like, you need to reinforce those tracks. Really? Uh oh. He went off track. Nice. Oh! Oh, I like the daughter's working. But the father is still playing behind. Oh, he blew out his boiler. That train's a hero. Oh, that's oh, oh. locomotive heaven for you. Oh, that is, oh, that's beautiful right here. The music is well perfect. What the heck? Oh, ah, the turtle, and the turtle is alive. <laughs> okay, we 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 couldn't have a turtle, an animal die in this. So no, he, he's okay. And oh wow, yeah, the daughter. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I got teary eyed there, but I like it. So the capitalist daughter. She does, she is a grease monk. She is grease hand. I never would have thought that, but I like that here. Playing with our expectations here and diverging from our ex, diverging from everything. And it's like, we show that, yep, she knows her way. Like we already saw when she was actually quickly got up and started hauling coal. So, yeah. <laughs> One of the father was like daddy, but he just lost his way and... Brave locomotive saves hundred. Engine Linus commended. Engine Linus, his name is Linus, commended for courageous act of heroism. 
Trail Trailway Railroad Company. Okay. Uh, Steam Powered Saviors. Belfort. Okay. Meanwhile, what happened to those people? Those people who shot the little poor train. It's like he was trying to save everyone. Like, yeah, like Friday, April fifth, eighteen ninety five. They're wrong. No train is a failure who has friends. Aww. There we are. The oh, wow. So now we're in the fort. We're now in the 40s here. Obviously, they repaired the bridge, reinforced it big time. And. Ah. Like the, the people who help repair, who have pain, everything like that. Weird guy with the teeth. <laughs> Trains of yesteryear. And, yeah. The wife. The, the turtle's still there because, yeah, turtle's a long time. But I love that. Yeah, it's like you still keep. There's a charm in these old locomotives. Very nice. Very nice, very beautifully done. Oh yes, I love these the grainy films here. Linus. did like how oh, oh wait oh wait does it finish here to give everyone the credits and everything they deserve because wow those guys were bad guys obviously but tell me those miners got like arrested or something they paid for what they did i mean they almost sabotaged rescue attempt uh, okay one i enjoyed what they did with this guy with uh this guy here like he came off as the villain the bad guy and with how he is with, with his like whatever with his uh smoke and and almost his like looking looking between like you're, you're under you're under him something like that attitude but and his, and his daughter as well with how she how she appeared but in the end he's not a, he wasn't a he, he well he served as an almost antagonistic like role he wasn't really a bad guy he was a capitalist a businessman who well he looks to the future here he, all businessmen their job is to see what the people need that they don't realize it yet and what they need is a form of transportation that's faster than the current one. That's fast. You can get them from point A to B quicker, quicker, quicker. And and in the end, uh, it's not like he come. I mean, yeah. In the end, even Henry, it's not like he was made. Uh, he lost his job. He still worked. I mean, he still got a job. I mean, he got he had wife support and everything like that. He look. He, he looked a little dead there, but as we see, he wasn't. He was all right. I mean, let me see the clip. Let me see. The, okay, come on. Damn it, where is it? Now it's around here, so it's got so come on. All right, let me just I gotta wait till it comes up here, but you get the idea, people. Or yeah, <coughs> he still had his job. He still had a job. He, he he still got paid probably more than he did when with Linus. But he but <laughs> I was like, this is for, nowadays. This is the kind of job we all everyone dreams of having here, where you can just just get paid to do. Nothing. Like, I mean, how much are they paying him at this point here? Uh, like, what? 
three, four bucks and that four bucks an hour or something like that. How to train? How how exactly the trains uh pay this point here? I don't know. I don't know, but he's he's still good and like he's got a pipe and everything like that. Hmm. Um, so yeah, this guy here he didn't like cut him off. He kept him he kept him on board to work and everything and you know the roads and and such and what he did was indeed uh making progress. Okay, yeah, we can see the animals here. Obviously, the, the smog. The smog in the area, the smoke, animals running. And, uh, yeah, granted, the whole line is stopping for that turtle here was also very... Was that, that's not a thing, actually. Train conductors are quite st big sticklers to staying on schedule here. And trains, even these ones, take a while to stop. And, yeah, we see here as well... Another way here where these old, these locomotives here were so powerful, but they couldn't really climb up st these uh, steep inclines. So what they do, they make the money to like make tunnels and thereby cutting travel time even further. <sighs> but we also see another difference in here in how like, the, the, these, these are all the characters from the original train here, when they they don't have time to enjoy the scenery here, the, the, with how fast these trains travel here, and everything just passes them by. So that's another thing that they sh they show here. It's like we see all yeah we we see all this stuff here, and long of going through all these um inclines and such, climbing up. It takes a while here. And I think as well, we see the difference between this and the old and the new ones here, and how these carts—they were small. They were small, but the people here got to enjoy the sights. They took in everything as they arrived and left. Almost, like, almost, like, almost at their own leisure. And then the new stuff came in. And while more space, the carts become bigger, more luxurious, and even at some point even become like two floors. Yeah, so a lot more people can a lot more people can can uh, travel and go further. They travel so fast that no one could really enjoy the scenery, and they were essentially like thrown out but i love how the, the daughter like everyone else thrown out by the daughter here it's like nope it's like she jumped off and landed with landed with a 10 point 10 point grace right there but everyone else because gotta make gotta make time gotta keep on schedule tighter tight schedule go back mm -hmm. before they even realize it more more people come in here just just thrown off i love this Okay, that you part like this is pretty hilarious. Like if we got these, got these two individuals were just, were just like thrown off the speeding train. <laughs> but he, this guy, this is, this, this is a good joke, good visual gag here. I miss these days. <laughs> oh God, yes, yes. Like <laughs> this is the kind of thing where you, I would watch it over and over again on TV. And every time I would get a new viewing here, but now because thanks to modern technology and YouTube, I could just pause it in every moment here as I analyze every frame by frame and see all the quick gags that got going on there. It's genius. Good job. Another bonus point on these guys on for, for you guys as well who made this. <laughs> but yeah, we see all these people in one area. And they started working up there. Yeah. <sighs> but uh, just try to ignore that hammering going on, people. I'm sorry. But yeah, we'll see how all this, it did lead to the growth of America. In fact, let me uh, see the... Yeah, like, uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
yes, it, cities, we got homes, way, homes, um, general stores, power line, churches, schools, and anything and everything here. It's like bars, saloons, and small, small checkpoints became villages, became towns, became cities. So yeah, it's like this, and they have their own newspaper. Daughter inherits, but yeah, like still, I know, and I was supposed to be sad here, but it's one of those things where the future comes, the past gets regulated, and eventually fades. Especially back then, here where there's no um, way to preserve historical stuff. Nowadays. Especially, in the, especially in the, like the turn of the uh, nineteen century, the nineteen hundreds. That's when people started caring more about like yesteryear and stuff like that. They saw with the pamphlet, but mainly like the. So here we see a problem as well, where trains got faster, and people for and people forget to consider the tracks. The railroads and the bridges might not be designed for these faster, heavier locomotives. That's great, yeah. So yeah, we got Linus, old Linus here saving the day. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, and the, we see the daughter here, buried from her father. Where first clue that she's not just uh, like um, arm candy, oh, uh, uh, pampered, pampered hands always clean princess. Where not nah, she, she, she uh, instantly she didn't need a prompt or anything like that. She didn't like Ugh, the hard work. No, she grabbed the sh she grabbed a shovel the moment the moment she was given one. Let me see. Like she just grabbed the shovel the moment the moment that no hesitation and started shoveling coal. While the father, I don't know, maybe scared of his mind. I, we don't know his history, but just we we get we get a bit more about his daughter here. Here, especially at the end where they repair Linus, where we see we see her in, in, we see her garbed in worker in a work engineering outfit, greased up and everything. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's quite, and the father there as well, he's happy. It shows that there was no real villain in this story at all here. The father at, be, at best came up as an antagonistic, but it's no different than any other businessman who just giving the people something they need and just making progress. In the end, he, he still gave Henry a job. He didn't fire him. He wasn't made without he wasn't made jobless. He was probably making more money than he's ever done before. So it was so the man was quite good. It's just that he missed Linus. That's progress for you. <laughs> Winds of change and all that stuff here, but and then we get the end here, which I really love the end, right? There. Yeah, we got jets, we got jet, we got fighters here, we've got more modern trains. Let me see that. A Baron in memory of of Baron Vaughn died nineteen thirty nine. So he lived a good life. So he lived a pretty long life there, and. In the end, he's kind of regarded as he founded, he helped found the town. He's went down as a as a future, as probably a futurist, a, per, a person who helped make America, at least this part of America, what it is. He wasn't so he wasn't remembered in any negative way. But yeah, we see the new, but we also see the old still alive and kicking. No, you don't need to forget about your past. 
there is something to be said about just these old ones here and enjoying everything here. And I love that here. Henry is still with Linus there, his wife. It would have been... It would have been a nice touch if you have if they have a kid here, but I'm assuming uh Nah, I mean this is obviously this has gotta be their kid or something. I, I don't know. I I don't think so, but this is obviously in the forties. This is way in the future. If they had a kid be an adult by now, well so it would have been cool to see like their child right there, right here, following the family tradition. It was well animated. The music was was very nice, very very era appropriate, and it, this is a cartoon I would love to watch on TV every time it came on, just in the reruns. <sighs> well, I gotta say, well done. Like the only way they could have made this better is if they stuck to like the square. Like the square box format, format of the old cartoons, <laughs> old of old TVs and such. Maybe you guys can do that as well here. Like do one here that also black and white. I don't know. I don't know, but it, it'd be a cool experiment. So everyone, thank you for watching. As always, come all you all thought. Let's start for more videos. Till the next one. Um, this is Nexon. I'll see you guys next time.